What's up, foodies? Um, thank you so much for all the love you guys gave me, all the likes, all the subscribe. I really appreciate that. Keep on doing that for me. Keep on sharing. I appreciate everyone that shares the video. Uh, that is the biggest help you can do for me. So thank you so much. Uh, without wasting any more of your time, for today's recipe, we're making one of the best comfort foods that's out there. Um, we're gonna make some masala khichdi. If you are a Gujarati or if you know anyone that's a Gujarati, this is one food that every Gujarati can pretty much have for the every day of the, um, every day of the week. So, without wasting any more of your time, let's show you how to make some masala khichdi. All right, guys. So this is one of the easiest recipe you can make. Um, all we're gonna do is we're gonna pressure cook the khichdi. Uh, for making the khichdi, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the tadka ready. For tadka, I'm using about one and a half spoon of rye. Um, we're gonna let the rye crackle. This is a very quick recipe you get done in about two to three minutes. Now, since we're making masala khichdi, um, you can make this in two to three minutes max um, when you have it on a high, pl uh, high flame and when you're pre uh, pressure cooking it. All you need to do is just wait for two whistles, three whistles and your food is ready. We're gonna be using, um, I'm using basmati rice uh, with basmati rice, I'm using the yellow split dal. Um, yellow split dal, it's also called the weird dal, uh, yellow dal, uh, whatever you call it. But uh, that's what we're going to use. Uh, two portion of rice, one portion of yellow dal. Uh, with that, to make it interesting, I'm using, um, the, uh, I'm using the, the pigeon peas. And I'm also using uh, the mixed veggie. Um, both of them, um, I'm using them frozen since we're gonna just pressure cook them. Wouldn't really matter much. So very, very quick recipe. Um, we're just gonna stay on so that way you can see that it really actually takes only two to five minutes to make the make the recipe. So my rice is crackling. I'm sorry, my rice is crackling. Rice is mustard seed, black mustard seed. Now at that point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower my flame and I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna put the red, uh, red chili, dried red chili, uh, some cinnamon stick, um, some long and some, uh, uh, some black pepper. We're gonna go ahead and um, put that in there. Let them uh, crackle a little bit too. And once that crackles up, uh, we're just gonna do the masala and we're gonna be all done. All right, now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of hing. And after adding the hing, I'm gonna go ahead and add my pigeon peas to it. And my mixed veggies as well. With masala khichdi, you can add pretty much whatever you want to in there. Um, you can be creative with it. I'm just using uh, most of the vegetables in there and, um, and that's about it. Um, now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add the remaining of the spices. Um, we're going to add haldi powder. About one and a half spoon of haldi powder. And then with that, we're just adding some degi mirch. We're adding degi mirch just for the color. So I'm just adding two spoons, uh, three spoons of degi mirch. Um, the reason why we're adding degi mirch and uh, and and uh, uh, haldi, it's because it gives that yellow color. Um, otherwise, everything else, the spiciness you're gonna get, that's gonna be the spiciness from all the all the spices that we have added previously. Now we're gonna add salt to taste. And again, I'm cooking for about five people, so I'm using a little bit larger quantities. You don't have to use that much salt. And at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and add one potato, uh, one small size potato that's uh, that's cut in big, big pieces, not too small. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our dal to it and we're gonna close the cooker we're gonna let it cook for about five minutes or we're gonna let it cook till uh, till two whistle whichever comes first and then we're gonna be all done all right guys so I have let it cook uh, for about uh, I would say 
about two whistles um, or five minutes or so the food is ready now I'm gonna share one trick with you now what I usually do traditionally normally when people serve khichdi they usually add the ghee or butter afterwards but to get the base taste out of the khichdi what I usually do it's I add a bunch of ghee right when I open the cooker now you don't have to add this much ghee or this much butter but when you do use this tap it's actually going to make your khichdi taste much better um, so i'm adding about four big spoons um well four and a, four and a half why not four and a half big spoons of ghee now at this point what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and mix this up very well so this way it's gonna have ghee added to your whole khichdi and it just gives you that little bit different flavor uh, when you start serving the khichdi but pretty much this is it your um, your khichdi is ready so the other step one more thing you can do um, is once you make the khichdi and once the khichdi is ready you can go ahead and um, you can go ahead and uh, once you add the ghee or butter to it you can go ahead and uh, close the cooker and let it uh, cool off for like one or two minutes just to get everything added in there um, but this is just fine you can just serve it like this take it in a plate uh, normally it's served with a char and also um, it's served with papad and also uh, chash as well so that's what I'm gonna have my food with um, achar and, and papad and chash they are ready for me so as you know food is ready not waiting on you thank you so much I really appreciate you guys watching sharing and subscribing if you like this video keep liking my channel keep subscribing and keep sharing sharing the video is both on YouTube and Facebook it definitely helps me a lot so thank you again the food is ready not waiting on you. I'll see you next time.